Welcome to Marine Infotech. Today we will see the emergency generator load test. So let's start. There are two means of starting of emergency generator. First is hydraulic. Uh, this is hydraulic and another is a battery. So before taking on load, uh, you should try manually both of starting method. Uh, to avoid any mishap and this is our two batteries of emergency generator for starting this is battery charger and this is operating panel where we can start manually and uh, right now the generator is in auto mode so before taking on load you have to check all visual inspection if there are any leaks or any abnormality check the oil level of the sump of the generator and then check the uh, radiator water levels in case of blackout uh, emergency generator should capable of taking on load within 45 seconds so we will check that one also and this is uh, oil level dipstick uh, where we can check the oil level is uh, above normal level and uh, radiator uh, water level we can check by opening this knob so i have already checked all these things i have already started the emergency generator on battery as well as on hydraulic so now we are going to quick look on the emergency switchboard so this is uh, our uh, main emergency switchboard and inside the switchboard you will find one switch for simulation of blackout or auto load test of the emergency generator and there are three modes normally it will be in normal mode uh, and uh, on the left side you will find uh, engine and acb mode uh, when we'll put to that it will simulate the blackout test here is the switch at the left side it is simulate a simulation of uh, blackout test and when we'll uh, turn to the right side it will start only the engine and this is the emergency generator uh, acb right now it is in open condition and this is uh, main switchboard burst eye this is right now in closed position so without further delay uh, we will start the emergency generator on load uh, we will be also recording the timing uh, at what uh, uh, how much time it is taking to come on load it should be uh, come on load within 45 seconds so we will uh, turn this uh, switch change or switch to the engine and acb so let's start as soon as you put uh, this uh, change or switch to engine and acb uh, that is simulation of blackout test uh, this uh, buff tie will open at the same time So in 40 second emergency generator came on load and uh, we will uh, run this emergency generator for uh, minimum 1 hour and slowly slowly we will increase the load on emergency generator. This is emergency generator breaker we can see the emergency generator breaker is in close position and this is the main switchboard bus tire which is already in open condition. So after one hour of load test, uh, we came here to uh, put back emergency generator to the normal mode. So whenever you will put back to normal mode, uh, the uh, ACB of the uh, emergency generator will be open and uh, main switchboard uh, bus tab will be closed. But the issue is here that uh, emergency generator is not disconnecting from uh, emergency switchboard automatically. So uh, for troubles for further troubleshooting we need to forcefully uh, uh, isolate the emergency generator from the ECB. So uh, now we will uh, will have a look on uh, emergency generator switchboard uh, electrical diagram. What is the issue exactly? 
so this is the manual for the emergency generator switchboard and uh, we have seen in the video when uh, we are uh, putting the uh, test sequence into another normal mode the emergency generator is not offloading automatically so we'll check the switch uh, the same switch in the manual and i have already marked that switch i will show you yeah, this is the switch uh, there are uh, there are three modes engine and acb when the switch will rotate to engine and acb the emergency generator will come on load automatically with the, uh, within 45 seconds and when uh, we rotate the switch to the normal position it will offload automatically so uh, this is normal in the normal mode you can see here the uh, point uh, the contact number six uh, sorry seven and eight there are some uh, digits and alphabets are written that is 5.2 is to b and uh, eight number is also written 5.2 2 is to be so uh, five, we need to check where is the 5.2 is to be and 5.2 is to be so this is uh, page number 4 we need to go to the page number 5 this is page number 4 so this is next page we will go on the next page page number 5 and 2 is to be so this is A B C D these are the vertical and horizontal lines this is B and number 2 on the top you can see here number two so i have already marked two and b so two and b there are seven and eight numbers you can see here this is the seven and eight numbers contact so first we will check the continuity of this contact either uh, the problem is in the switch itself or somewhere else so i have already checked the uh, seven and eight contacts these are okay so whenever this contact will make yeah m8040 this is on delay timer m8040 this is on delay the three second on delay timer so when uh, you will make the contact after three second the uh, emergency generator acb will go offload so i, I have checked already the issue with the timer and it is getting 220 volt but the issue is it is not on it is not making further contact so m84 whenever the m84 will make this contacts will close so this is six page number uh, sorry six eight and six contact 5.2 is to be so page number five two is to be we'll go here two is to be this is two and this is b this is the contacts it will make and uh, circuit will further go so issue uh, is here only the timer is defective so uh, we luckily we have uh, one uh, the m same timer m8040 on delay timer and we will change and we'll check the circuit again and we'll take the emergency generator on load again so i have already taken emergency generator on load so what we will do we will uh, unload uh, again we will uh, make it to normal and we will see it is uh, coming uh, offload automatically or not So we have successfully offloaded the emergency generator automatically. We can see here on timer when it is in normal mode the on light and up light it is on continuously. So when it will be on normal mode it will on continuously. We can see here the uh, switchboard ACB is closed now when switchboard bus tie and uh, emergency switchboard ACB is open. Thank you for watching the video and if you have any query please let me know in the comment section and please do share, like and comment. Thank you.